Hi, Darren Lachner here from 365 Assist. This is the second part of my application lifecycle management series. In the first episode, I showed you how to set up environments and solutions. So go back and have a look at that. And then this one, the second one, I'm going to show you how to build up the solution by putting applications inside the solution uh, and other components that go with it. Uh, and Dataverse tables I'm going to look at in this case as well. I'm in my development environment here and here's where I want to create my database and my app. So in this case I'm going to use the Dataverse as the tables. I want to, I want to use that for my data source of Dataverse. Uh, so I'm not going to directly go into the app at this stage. And normally, if you just had you, you weren't caring about application lifecycle management, you might create tables. Go under the data here and create tables that way and directly create your tables or use the existing ones or create the table that way. I don't want to do that in this case. What I want to do is I want to build it directly into the solution that I've created earlier. So you can bring stuff into the solution later. And we'll talk about that shortly. But in this case, I'm going to my solution. I'm going to my pet solution. And here, when I'm in the solution, I want to create a brand new table. So I'm going to go to new and then go down to table. And we do the normal table stuff that we would normally do in Dataverse. Uh, so I'm going to call this uh, my pets. And then I'm just going to save that table. And there we have it, we have uh, our table that's been added to the My Pet solution here. If I refresh the screen a little bit, you'll see that the number will come up on the left here of that I've got one new table just there. So you can drill in that way when you get a lot of different artifacts. And then of course when I go into it, I can edit this table as I normally would. Um, I can open it and edit it like I normally would with a, a Dataverse and add new columns etc. Uh, if I wanted to do that. You can see there's a table there and also what I did with the table is I included a few extra columns. One of the columns is a choice column and that's sitting outside as another item in my solution. I'll just show you that as a choice. You can't edit it here but you can have a look at it so you can see that that's a pet type and I put cat and dog in it at the moment. If I wanted to I could create an app directly in that solution like I did the table. I could go to app canvas app and create an app directly in here. But I don't want to do that in this case because I want to show you how you can import an app if you happen to have created it outside of the solution. Uh, I always like to create it within the solution but sometimes you've got one you've created outside. So I've gone away and built myself an app but I'm going to show you how I'm going to bring that app in. I built that app just out here in apps. So I've got a new app called My Pets. It's not within the solution. I, in this case, I built it outside. Now we go back to the solutions. So now the trick I want to do is I now want to, so this is now um, packaged up in that solution. I now want to add the actual app itself. In this case, so I hit new, I'm going to hit add existing. So I'm going to add, in, add an existing, and you can add an existing many things. But in this case, I'm going to add the app, my Canvas app that I built outside the solution. And it's not from the Dataverse, it's built outside of the Dataverse, and there it is sitting there. So if I just select it, the app that I built, and I add that in. That's now added that app into that solution. So my package, my solution or my package has three things in it. It's got a table, it's got the Canvas app, and it's got the choice um, field in there. So it needs everything together. One of the other important pieces that you must do before you package this up and send this across to the next environment is just check that everything's got all the, all the components it needs. So as an example, if I go to this table and I look for add required objects, so this will add any other objects that are needed behind the scenes that are needed in the other environment. If you miss this out, you'll get errors when you try to import this into the next environment. So let me just try that. So in this case, there's nothing else, but uh, but you can see it's added successfully added the objects. I'll do the other ones as well, just to just to check. So overall, there's nothing that needs to be added, uh, but it is important. You will sometimes get errors when there are, uh, especially when you have. Um, 
connection references that are required and in that case you'd need to add an existing in some cases I found that an existing connection reference to that so I'm not going to add it but if I go into that you can see there are connection references in this case to the Dataverse if you're using SharePoint it may need that or depending on what what's needed so you'll, you'll find those errors if you try to import them uh, but best to avoid them just do this once before you do the export and the import and make sure you've got everything